So here is the second episode of the Apple's Question series I started, which uh, aims to answer all of the Apple-related questions. And the question for today is, should Apple Pencil be always attached to iPad? Well, of course, the series is not going to be about Apple Pencil only, because that was the previous episode. But right now, let's talk about it for a moment. A lot of people using Apple Pencil have the question if they should keep it on the iPad, like, can it uh, break or make the battery worse? Is it going to make the overall experience worse? Is it going to make it last less when it is going to be using in real life? So these are the questions that people ask. But the short answer would be no, it's not going to do any harm on your Apple Pencil. At first, you should know that the Apple Pencil is not serviceable. This pretty much means that you cannot bring it to the Apple Store and have them replace the battery or some other internal thing. It's just like a one piece which can, which can be swapped for a new one, but it's not like you can open it up, change the battery and stuff like that. The only thing that you can change is the tip of the pencil, which can be replaced, but not the battery. You cannot even check the battery health of the pencil, and it's not something that we should actually worry about. I base all the information about the Apple Pencil from the Apple's official source from their community, and there were people asking the same questions if they should do it like that, if they should keep it attached, if it's not going to overcharge and things like that. And the answer in the community, which was also marked as Apple recommended, well, this says that the second generation of the Apple Pencil should always be kept docked with the iPad when not in using. And this ensures that the internal battery is kept healthily charged when not in use. So this is pretty much answering the question for us. We're only talking about the Apple Pencil second generation, by the way, because the first one cannot be docked or charged all the time. The first generation would need to be connected in the lightning port all the time, and this is definitely something that it is designed for 24-7, so people don't even worry about it or have questions about it. But also, the explanation goes further, explaining that the pencil, when it is separated for a longer period of time, risks allowing the battery to discharge, and if it's just gonna stay like this for a really long time, the battery's gonna suffer, and is just not something like I said that you can replace and it is the only uh, the only solution is to actually replace the entire Apple Pencil. Of course, it's not like the most expensive thing in the world, but it's also not a good idea to replace it every other month. So make sure to keep it docked at the iPad. Of course, if you keep it for a couple of days, discharge is not going to do any harm. But if you just lay it there for like a year or six months without connecting to the iPad, this may actually cause some damage to the battery and to the actual Apple Pencil. So this is how it should be used. And you should not worry about attaching the iPads side to the Apple Pencil or the other way around, of course. So it's not going to do any harm. It's not going to like damage the Apple Pencil. And this is actually the intended way of using it. If you want to see videos like these in the future, that means answering Apple related question or other thing that may help you along the way. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the future videos. Also, if you'd like to see how long the battery lasts on the Apple Pencil, that's also another video that may already be published by then, so maybe you can check it out right now, maybe not, so take a look at the channel and it will probably be up uh, by some time, so if you're watching this in the future, you can definitely go ahead and check that video out. Thanks a lot for watching, see you guys later.